Hi friends. I just wanted to show you something I'm doing. I, I don't think I've shown this on any of my other quilting videos. I'm working on a Broadway quilt for um, Princess Number 5 and we had another square that cut. We were going to use this one. I asked her beforehand. I didn't like this one because it has bled a little bit. You can see some some bleeding on the and it was a lot wider and some of the on the row are skinnier and it was we were losing if we cut it off on the sides we're losing almost everything except just the center of his face so we needed the smaller one it has a darker um, color isn't washed out as much but it wasn't tall enough for the um, Joseph and the dream coat one that's super that's the biggest square on the quilt right there so what we've had to do is um, I cut the sleeves off of the smaller one because we needed it to be taller to fit the Joseph height so I cut the sleeve off and then I pinned the sleeve on the inside of the, the shirt collar because otherwise the shirt would be cut off here um, and we wanted the whole face so we just really liked his, the smaller face with the more details but um, we needed the height so I don't think once I sew it anybody's even going to notice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this this yellow match this yellow and use the yellow to stitch it on and then I'm going to take a black pen not a sharpie but just like a black ink pen and color over the yellow stitching on the black and I don't think anybody unless they're super close is going to even notice and it will lay like a collar would anyway it's a little thicker but not too bad and then um, I'm going to patch the name from the back of the shirt onto the front. We couldn't do it on the other one because it would cut off his whole chin. <laughs> Look at the bit, how big his face is. So we were going to stitch it on here, but then literally all you would see was his chin because this was big enough you wouldn't see the the mane. So we've gone with the, sh the smaller size shirt. Also what I've had to do is cut it out wider like... I cut the back in half all the way up the center and then I laid it flat this way so that I could get some of the yellow for this the, the edging so that when I hem uh, sew it to the square next to it this yellow part will be the the seam allowance so what you have to do for that if you're going to cut into the the arm of a shirt is you have to flip it over pinch it stitch it right there in the corner and then lay it back flat so it will lay flat and not have this pooch. I've already pinned them both, but um, I've had to do this on other quilts when I needed a wider row. Um, so we want to save as much of the mane as possible. So once again, cut it. don't cut it down the seams. Cut it down the back, open up the back flap, and then cut it as wide as you can, as much of the arm as you can get. And I could have done more of the arm, but we need the arm up here. So I could have left the arm and opened up the back flap and then you just kind of fold it down like this and you pin it on the diagonal So um, and sew it. So I could have sewn the arm down like this onto the back fabric that I had cut open. But you can see kind of that example there. So that's going to be flat and that's going to be flat and you can cut out the, the bulkiness behind it when you're going to sew it into the seam. That, that will um, give me a seam allowance and make the shirt a little bit wider to match the wider squares on that row. And then um, I, I share on my videos how I do this. I just zigzag all the way around the edges and I'm going to actually leave this one alone and stitch it into the seam of the next square. So those are two things that I don't know that I've shown before um, using sometimes on another shirt like I would use um, if I needed the shoulders, then I would just do a, a similar color behind it, like a black or like if this was black, I would just do a black behind it or a red. I've done red so that I can get the whole. This happens especially on kids t-shirts. So something they would have used for dance or something. And I and I wanted to keep the whole pattern. You can do that. I've done it lots of times, but I just don't know that I have shared that with you before. So check out my other blog posts about that because I didn't do videos when I was first doing some of the quilts. So you can check out my blog, uh, thesecretisgratitude.com and type in the search box quilt or t-shirt quilt and up will come all the posts on that. I show how to take a hat apart and use a hat on a quilt and things like that. And then also on my YouTube channel, The Secret is Gratitude, I have quite a few um, different quilt 
that I have shown on there and I've shown how I place them so that none of the squares are the same color around each other or whatever. So, um, and then I'll be probably show a video of this completed. I've, I've, I don't know, I've probably got at least 10 of the videos on there and then there's a bunch more on my, my blog. I've done a ton of quilts. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.